Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna talk all about the very best skincare products at the drugstore. You guys have been asking for this and I went on a deep dive and I have found the best of the best of the best and my mind is blown because the drugstore is killing it when it comes to great products, great ingredients. I'm using these products alongside a lot of my more high-end stuff. You guys know I kind of have my nose in the air when it comes to skincare. I'm always a little hesitant, if I'm being brutally honest, to use drugstore skincare. I don't know why, I just have this like, oh, it's just, it can't be as good. And I'm at a place in my life where I want to splurge on the very best. And so I've kind of been stuck in that bucket, but my mind has been changed while on this adventure of trying more affordable options. And these items have made their way into my everyday routine, coexisting with a lot of my more expensive SkinCeuticals and Ulla Henriksen and my, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Um, Audacity. I just want to formally apologize to the brand for continually calling their brand Odacite. I feel really stupid. I love this brand right here. This is their micellar water, the cleansing water, the blue aura with turmeric and holy basil. My point is I love all skincare at different price points. It is extra hard to impress me when it comes to skincare because I want the potency to be there. I don't want to waste my time. I want the ingredients to be top and for the experience itself to be really pleasurable because I personally love a good self-care routine. So these items here, I think you guys are going to love. They hit every high note. I love saying that, but it's true. They really do. So let's just dive on in to drugstore skincare. Oh, and I have one that didn't work out. Haha. Ha. Okay. Let's start with Naturium. What are you doing to the skincare game? Literally, I just... I mean, I think we need to take a moment. This is one of the best drugstore skincare brands. I don't even wanna call this a drugstore brand. It just happens to be sold at Target. I don't know how on the earth they price these products the way they do with how well they perform. Like, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it, but I'm loving it. I would happily be their spokesperson. Like I can't shut up about these products and I haven't even tried the whole line. So like I have a lot to explore. So this right here is the BHA leave on exfoliant with 2% salicylic acid and bioactive fruit acids. Now this is an encapsulated salicylic acid. This does not burn my skin, but they do recommend that you start out by using this as your toner in the evening every other night. This is gonna exfoliate the skin. It's gonna eat away at that dead skin Skin and just help the texture and help products that you put on top of it to absorb more deeply. I love this. I've only been using it, you can see, like I don't use a ton at a time. And you don't wanna use this morning and night in my opinion. And I do try to break up, you know, not using it every single night. I don't need to get crazy aggressive with exfoliating the skin. This stuff to me is pretty potent, but I've been using it for like three weeks now and I love this. Oh my gosh, I was gonna go and pick up the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid that you see raved about all over TikTok. This was like my Sephora 100 point perk and I'm, I still got a little left. I do like this, but it's much more expensive. And I feel like for 18 bucks, 18, 19 bucks over at Target, you get four ounces. It does the trick, smooths you out. It is fragrance-free, gluten-free, phthalate-free. This is a very clean line and I am so here for it. I love it. So good. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Also from Naturium, and this is not sponsored by the way, I just really love this brand. I will link and list everything I'm talking about below in the description box, expand that puppy. YouTube does have that new thing where the, the it's like coming up in the corner and you can like hit it and like do shoppable, whatever. I'm trying to list things out for you guys. So whether it's here, or in the description, just check it out and all the info will be there. Okay, so while we're on topic of Naturium, this right here is a multi-peptide moisturizer. You guessed it, you have peptides in here. This is fragrance-free 
gluten-free, cruelty-free. This is also paraben-free. I mean, the free, 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 free list goes on and on and on. This has encapsulated vitamin C along with the peptides. It absorbs so quickly into the skin. You can use this underneath makeup. It works great. That is actually my preference. I kind of go in with the big guns at night where I'm like slathering my skin with like rich creams and oils and all of that. So my nighttime routine definitely is a little bit more intense, but I have found that using this during the daytime under makeup, I'm wearing it underneath my makeup today. This is an amazing moisturizer and in a pump. You guys know how much I love a pump. $20, Target. So good. Do we see how that's absorbed? It's not sticky. It is blurring the skin just a little bit. I believe there is a dimethicone in here. It has that texture. This will absorb without pilling and it is just a totally hot product. Just to be fair balanced, I do have one item from Naturium that I have not loved and that is their cleansing balm. It left too much of a waxy texture on my face after washing it off with water. It wasn't as oily as some of the other balms that I use and love. Removed makeup just fine, but just kind of had a texture thing. Aside from that, everything that I've tried, you guys, I'm not gonna stay here long, but um, this one, the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion, fragrance-free fatty acids. This is my newest bottle. The other bottle, it's too embarrassing to even show on camera because I beat the crap out of it getting all of the lotion out. So we have a fresh, pretty one, but I wanna show you what this lotion is capable of just super quickly. It feels like this is a sponsored video. It's not, I just really love this product. Let's move on to Pacifica while I'm like massaging myself on camera. Um, I just needed it. I just, I also find this lotion doesn't get like gunky and greasy. It's just really good. Okay, Pacifica, glow baby glow. Let's talk about it. The scent in here does not set me off. Pacifica does derive more clean fragrance. I don't really know what that means. I just know in my personal experience, it doesn't make me sneeze. My nose doesn't start running. I don't get a headache, uh, which are the three things that happened to me when I am exposed to fragrance recently. And it's a bummer, but also I'm listening to my body. So this does have a light scent of, they call it citrus orange, but to me it's very distinct, like a sweet creamsicle. I think this is a beautiful product. It's very gentle. It has rice starch as your exfoliator manually. So it's very, very gentle. It's not apricot scrub kernels, just like scratching at the skin. This is very, very gentle. And then you have an enzymatic lactic acid and glycolic and glycolic. <laughs> you have an enzymatic glycolic and lactic. La oh my gosh. You have enzymes in here too. Oh my gosh, now I'm like smiling like, hey. <laughs> there are enzymatic. I feel like the birds outside are making fun of me. You have lactic acid and you have glycolic acid. <laughs> this is not funny. There is lactic acid and glycolic. <laughs> I am a professional. Okay, I need a vacation. All right, so we have rice starch to gently exfoliate the skin. You have lactic acid, glycolic acid as your enzymatic exfoliant. So you are doing a double whammy when you use this product. It is both chemically exfoliating and manually exfoliating. What I like to do is put it on in the shower and I take my sweet time. I kind of let it sit on the skin so that those enzymes can work like little Pac-Mans eating the dead skin is kind of what I imagine. I'm just like, do your thing enzymes. It will smooth you out and your skin will glow. This is a solid product. Pick it up at Target. And then I do have one more from their Glow Baby Glow line. This is the Glow Baby Super Lit SPF Lotion. This is a broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral SPF. So you have zinc in here. This has vitamin C. It's so similar in my opinion, not as glowy, um, but it's very similar to the Kosas at Sephora, which I love so much, but it's expensive. This is not as much money and it sinks in a little bit 
better too, in my opinion. It's not as jelly juicy, but when it sinks in, it's almost mattifying, but you still have radiance to the skin. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's just a phenomenal texture. And I am really doing a good job to make sure because I'm using all sorts of, you know, exfoliant toners and things like that, that I am putting on SPF. We're doing it. We're doing the shield. We're doing the SPF. I love being outside. I'm using SPF daily. Point being, you go through it really quickly. And with SPF, you don't want to just use like a little dot. Like you really want to use a healthy amount so that you're covered. So the Kosas, I'm already running through. This one I started using this month because I'm like getting super serious about my SPF. And I love this. And makeup goes on top of this beautifully. No weird pilling, no weird greasy thing. It's just so good. I did see on their website that they have a setting mist that has an SPF of 40 or 45. I'm gonna get that. It looks like a great thing to put throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? And I also love that Pacifica feels super high-end and luxe with how they package everything. Glycolic acid. Oh my gosh. Um, should we talk about more acids? Let's just burn all our skin off. I have used this on my face once and it was intense. I would definitely space this out and be very careful if you're gonna use this next product on your face. Set a timer, listen to how your skin is reacting. If it's burning too much, wash it off. So I just want to like give you the warning. This is actually a very intense product that I am about to discuss, but I like the idea of doing kind of like a peel at home. This alpha hydroxy 30%, it's a 10 minute peel. I'm sure you guys have seen this on TikTok or Instagram or someone reviewing it because it's very memorable. Like the just look of it, it's like jelly and red. Now the thing that I have started doing, and this is a throwback to a very old Tip Tuesday where I told you guys that I took exfoliating wipes on the bottom of my foot and then I put lotion on once it had sunk in and my socks. This allows you to do that, but kind of at like a professional level. Interesting, I know that I'm recommending you buy this for your feet, but if you are obsessed with having soft feet like I am and you wanna go that extra mile, this is worth it. It. If you have cracked heels, calloused feet, dry skin on your feet, this will absolutely eat away at it. I don't know if someone's gonna get really mad at me for this or not, I don't rinse it. I just kind of wipe this on the really rougher areas of my feet and let it sink in a little bit and then lotion and sock. And I have gotten a great result from this. I'm not gonna show you my foot online because there are weird people on the internet that say strange things to me and I just, I don't need this in my like realm of peacefulness right now. But you can imagine a peel this intense would do incredible things for dry skin anywhere. Use with caution. If you want to see if you're sensitive or not, do a test strip. You know, you can do that on the face too. And I just had to give a shout out because ordinary products are not crazy expensive. They're really amazing. I do want to try more of the line. Okay, we're going to move it over to Neutrogena. Do we remember a million years ago, I did one of my very first sponsored videos with Neutrogena and I was so excited and honored. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I have made it like a big brand wants to work with me. And I think I even had to go to like a dermatologist's office and like they educated me and gave me like the, yes, and this will be great for your skin and da, 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 da. And I took it very professionally. And then I kept using the product after the test portion and posting the video. And throughout the years, I've talked about Neutrogena, retinols, and it's just like a hallmark staple good product that you can pick up the drugstore. And every time I have used this and been consistent with it, I've seen such great results. So this is the Retinol Pro 3% Night Cream. What I was excited about, even though back in the day, I loved the fragrance that they use in here. It smells like My Little Ponies to me, which is very distinct, I know, but that's always what it smelled like. And it was very pleasurable. So if you're not, you know, avoiding fragrance, they do have a standard regular scent in all of this line, but they do have 
fragrance free options, which I really, really love. So this is just a really nice retinol moisturizer. You can use this on the face and the neck. I would recommend using this at night only. They do have the retinol for day, but I just, I do feel like you want to use your heavier exfoliants at night and then go in with all of your juicing up your skin for doing makeup and then maybe a good SPF during the day. That's just me right now because I'm trying to erase some bad behavior and that's where I'm at. But I do love this rapid wrinkle repair. The whole line is really good. Check it out. They have a huge display at my Walmart and it's just, it's so nice. Okay, moving from there, let's talk a little castor oil. I mentioned this recently again, that I have been consistent using castor oil on my lashes, my brows. I've gone through bottles of this stuff because I will use it on the body as well. You can do castor oil packs. Google that if you're curious what that is. That is a more holistic healing modality, I guess you would call it. But I think the best way to use this is on your lashes. You don't need to spend a fortune on lash growers that can irritate the eyes. This does work, works on your brows as well. And I'm super into it. I also wanna mention this brand right here, Rayel Beauty. I thought they just sold tampons up until recently. They did send me a PR kit and I am so here for it. Oh my gosh, the ingredients are so clean. So if you are looking for something that is organic, clean, that has all those call outs where it's literally formulated without any of the questionable junk that could be disrupting your hormones or making you sensitive to, you know, sneezing and all of that or irritating your skin. I just like the way it's formulated. I love the ingredient callouts. What I have right here is a pore purifying clay mask, and this is made with papaya extract, Sika extract. This is just a really solid mask. I can't use this everywhere. I only use this as a spot treatment. A dash will do you, but I'll kind of put that if I'm, you know, having that time of the month and I'm having more clogged pores in an area, I will pop this on. It has a little bit of a granular texture to it as well. It's just a really nice line through and through. Their tampons are great also, if you wanted to know, totally um, approved, five out of five stars. And uh, they also have great pads that don't contain mint. Um, so winning, yes. Uh, they do have patches that I'm obsessed with as well. Overnight patches, they have a variety of sizes and different types. I love those. But the problem is I sometimes forget that I have them on in the morning because they're so transparent, you almost can't see them, which I think is such an advancement in the technology of skincare. Like it used to be those patches would be just like, you know, um, but it is, what is it? It's a hydro, I can never say this. It's a gel pad that literally will just get all the gunk out of whatever blemish or breakout you have going on. And I love those. I have a drawer full of them. And I think this is a brand worth checking out that is available at Target and will not break the bank. You know what? So, oh, I have them over there. I did bring them over here. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention, like honorable mention, oh my gosh, I didn't bring it in. Okay, from Pacifica, the forehead stick-on mask and then my little eye masks, you guys. I'm using the same ones. Since I did my Amazon video where I was telling you about these and how amazing they are and you just rinse them off with water and you can put your eye cream on kind of thick and put these on and you never have to buy sheet masks again. This is a game changer, lifesaver, one of the best products from Pacifica. And they have one for your forehead too. Poor James, he sees me wandering around and I literally have this like weird patch on my forehead and the under eye and I just kind of look like an alien and I don't care. Um, I take my skincare very seriously and these two will elevate whatever you already have on hand. So from Rael, am I saying that right? They have these miracle patches. I have a ton of them. They were really generous and sent me a bunch, but I have been using them and loving them. Let's open this one up right here just so I can show you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's just, it goes on, this is for the chin. It goes on and you can't even see it. So you don't look as wild as you do doing your, you know, depuffing, get the skincare in the skin treatments. Like this looks wild. These you can't even really see on the skin. Like I've gone out in public and forgotten. <laughs> 
that I had the little patch on, it's like that. Um, but they really do work. You don't wanna overdo these, like don't get addicted. I can see that it would be easy to do that. It can over time do some not so great things. I've been following a few dermatologists that recommend not overusing these kind of patches, but they do work. And if you have really stubborn clogged pores and you just wanna do a cleanup yourself, I'm my own esthetician right now. I tell you guys all the time, I have not so much as gotten a facial in the past like two and a half years, which is crazy to me because I used to go and get facials all of the time. And now I do all my own stuff. I do the patches, I have a steam machine. I do, you know, this is definitely not drugstore, but Medicube devices. I have all of my, you know, high frequency and all of that. And I just kind of take care of myself at home and I like it. So it can be done. Done. All right, let's talk about the one item that I did not like. I had a moment of weakness in Walmart. I don't know why I bought this. I kind of knew I wasn't gonna like it, but in the back of my mind, it was like that meme with Kermit, like his shadow self is like, do it. Like literally this voice in the back of my mind was like, you'll never know, maybe it's a hidden gem that no one is talking about and like you have to try it. So I bought it and then I opened it up and literally upon opening this up, because it was like wrapped in plastic. I was like, absolutely no, absolutely no. Do you know what this smells like? It's like a jiggly, watery, ultra dewy face cream. It sounds like a pleasant idea. This is watermelon and hyaluronic acid. If you like strawberry scented things, because this does not smell like watermelon. Oh ah. gosh. <laughs> gonna smell like this forever. It smells like chewed up Sanrio gum. I know, like, and I'm, that sounds mean to describe a product that way, but that's what it smells like. This is Cream Shop and Hello Kitty. I really like Cream Shop. I think they make incredible makeup, but this just did not do it. And I'm not gonna bring it back either. I just, I, I feel like when I'm reviewing products, I should never return things, so I just don't. So now I'm like, what do I do with this? I literally will sneeze up a storm if I put this anywhere on my body because that's the other thing that I do, you guys. This is like a random tip. If you have a face cream that you just got kind of bored of and you're like, oh, I'm moving on, got myself a new face cream, I'm into it, things do expire. So I typically will take whatever I was using on the face and I'll start using it as like the most luxurious body lotion. And that has long been one of my beauty secrets. A lot of you guys are like, how do you keep your neck like this? And how do you do that? And I'm like, I've been using face cream on my body and chest for decades. Like that's how. I don't like wasting things, which makes my job really crazy in the head because I do get sent a lot of PR and I have like guilt about not using it or giving it to a friend. Um, so there is that, but I definitely will use all the last little bits like on the body. But something like this, like I can't do it. I can't do that. The smell will make me lose control. Have you guys noticed in this whole video? I burnt my hair off. If you made it this far in the video, leave a fire emoji because she got a little wild and out of control with her curling iron. Oh my gosh, I regret it. Okay, you guys, we are at the end and I wanna thank you for hanging out with me. I had fun sharing all of this drugstore skin goodness with you and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed and ring that bell, turn your notifications on. I have some good juicy videos coming up, some of which, I filmed today. I'm doing three different primers that are hot and new on the same makeup, so same foundation three days in a row, wear test every single day. So come back and watch that one soon. It'll be up probably in about a week. Other than that, I hope you are having a great day, whatever you're doing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.